So he's not working. I'm all the way. Yeah. Hello? So you don't have a ride? No, nah, man, I don't. I'm all the way down here in Riverdale, dude. I mean, I, I mean, why, why, why don't you have a ride? I don't know. I told him last night I need a ride. I I tried calling him. I tried texting him. I tried knocking on his door at seven o'clock this morning. Like, I, yeah, but you dragged him all night last night. So in your off time, you're killing it. You're killing him, and he don't want to do anything for you in the daytime. That's what's happening. Can't you see that, dude? I mean, I mean, it's just. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I I I left separately from him. Like he he had. His, like, I don't understand why he even be tired because I didn't even use him for a ride home or anything. But it, uh, he I must mean, have been, and maybe he was mad. You no, know? I don't think so, dude. He seemed fine. Well, where's he at now? In the bed? I guess so. I mean, you ain't looked outside know. to see if his car's there? Yeah, it's Why'd there. you call me at 2.45 in the morning, dude? I did not mean to. I promise you that was a pocket dial. What are you doing up at 2.45 in the morning? See... <laughs> <laughs> man, I mean, dude, I don't even know what to say, man. Because it's it, there's 12 yards on the list today, and I'm down here in Riverdale. Uh, I just got done with the first. I'm trying to get an early start so we can get done. And I, I just got done with the Riverdale when I'm already down in Riverdale to, and leaving Riverdale now. Yeah. You know. Also, for nothing really, because now you, you're you're not gonna be able to come to work, dude. I don't even know what to say, man. So my truck is sitting. Uh, so my truck is sitting there with the key in the ignition, uh, and and all the equipment on the truck. Somebody could just walk into that truck and take that truck. See, it's a, know, it's a big I fuck up, man. I well, I, it's your own damn ride. fault, dude. I mean, you're not trying to change anything, man. I'm gonna have to find somebody that can come to work, dude. Because this is, I mean, and once I make that move, dude, you're not gonna have a job, man. I hate to say it like that, dude, but this is that's where I'm at, man. I got to have somebody to get to work, dude. And I got to have somebody that's important to them to get to work. I got to have somebody that don't run the streets yeah, all night. Work, yeah, but I'm it's not, more important for you I'm to run the streets at work. night. But it, 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 it's the same thing to me. <laughs> you ain't here. So you can say, well, it ain't my fault, man, all you want. But you're not, it, to me, it, it, all that's irrelevant. Because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, I don't have somebody in the other truck. And I need somebody in the other truck. All those... You know, if you want to run the streets at night, then you you have a lot better of a chance of getting a ride to work. That's what I'm saying. So you're already on a short week. I tried to give you a little extra yesterday because you made it to work on time, and now today you're not even coming in. See, it, it, it's just, I know, I know. dude, it's stupid, man. I'm gonna to have to put everything off till, till next week now. So Katie's not gonna be able to work tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to do those bushes over there uh, this week. It's just stupid, dude. You're knocking me out of all kind of bread, dude, because you want to run the fucking streets at night, dude. I don't even know what to got, man. I don't even know what to say, dude. Ain't nothing to say, man. You know, you're going to do what you do, man, but I'm going to do what I need to do. So, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's all you. You know, you ain't saving no money. You ain't doing anything to, to make your life, to, to make it where you can make it to work on time, dude. I don't understand, man. I don't get it, dude. Stupid shit, dude. Y'all see that? I'm about to get rid of him, man. It's just mere survival out here, dude. See? I talked to Zach this morning at, at uh, what, 15 after 7. He didn't say anything about him not having a ride. No matter how early of a start I get, I'm going to be all screwed up no matter what. It don't even matter, right? I could have got started at 5 a.m. and I'd still be all screwed up because the guy can't can't find a ride to work. Called me at 2.45 in the morning, but dialed me. I mean, who 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 who, who stays out at 2.45 in the morning and has to go to work the next day and doesn't have a and, and doesn't and, and I mean, I ain't saying there's anything wrong with staying out that late, but staying out that late and not having a ride and not having anything and knowing you got to be at work in the morning this is stupid dude this is the dumbest thing i've ever seen man
Ain't nothing, and there ain't nothing I can do about it, dude. There ain't. I don't even want to work in tomorrow now. I don't care if it works the rest of the week, dude. It's the stupidest shit I've ever seen, man. He's going to lose his job. And I, I'm going to have to, man. I'm simply going to have to hire somebody else, dude. And it's killing me, man. Stupid shit, man. It don't even... You know, you tried to give them extra money yesterday, and only for them to turn around today and, you know... According to Zach, it ain't his fault. Mm -mm. You dragging that man, that your ride, you dragging him around at all hours of the night and then wonder why he don't want to bring you to work. It's just the stupidest thing I've ever heard, man. There's nothing to really say. And this week, there's just no way that we're going to be able to, to, to do everything. Now you see the problem that I have. I can't really schedule big boy work, big lucrative work, because I got guys on staff that can't seem to get their shit together. And every time it, our, our back gets to the wall, this kind of stupid shit happens. Every time. Of course you don't feel like working if you was up at 2.45 in the morning. Of course you don't want to work. So just roll back over and go back go back to sleep. If he can't find a ride to work today, he won't be working tomorrow. I don't give a damn. We just won't be able to do those bushes this week. And that throws everything off because those bushes are a day, a whole day job. See? There's no way that I can do this whole list today. There's no way. It's, it, it's gonna be uh, impossible. And I gave Zach a ride home yesterday. He's dragging the ride in the evening time where the ride don't want to do anything for him. I don't blame him. I don't blame the ride. If I was the ride, I wouldn't be dragging it around in the evening time. I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't take him nowhere and I wouldn't go nowhere. The only time, the only place I'm going to take him is to work. That's all I, if I'm the, if I'm the ride. But y'all see the position that I'm in. And, you know, according to Zach, though, he ain't trying to lay out of work. But the effect is all the same to me. It's the same thing. I mean, you know. I mean, well, how good is he going to be uh, staying up until 2.45, 3 o'clock in the morning? I mean, I mean, really, you know. It just doesn't make no sense to me, y'all. It's just stupid shit, dude. And it ain't about nothing. It's kitty shit, you know. Really got nothing good to say right now, y'all. Okay, y'all, 9:45, and uh, I'm going to my fourth one. So, yeah. No matter what Zach does, I still got to keep going. So, uh, yeah. Sarah just texted me and said that Zach didn't come home last night. So that's why he ain't got no rivals. He ain't because he ain't at home. So that so that's that, that's the problem right there. He's not at home where he can where he can easily get a ride. So stupid, man. It's the stupidest shit ever, dude. I ain't never seen no shit like it, man. It's like So Sarah says she'll give you a ride, man. Okay, I'm uh, I'm about to be there. Then. I mean, oh, you ain't no wonder. That's why you ain't got ride, but you ain't even at home, dude. 
I was. I left. I'm about to be back. Uh, well, how come you couldn't get a ride from whoever's here in the car with now? I'm wondering. You what? How come you can't get a ride from whoever you're in the car with now? Because they had to leave you at work. Like, they brought me here and they, they can't go to Sonoma and back. Damn, dude, you're not taking your job very important, are you? I mean... I'm trying to get there, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, dude. Sarah says she would take you, but, you know, everybody's world can't revolve around Zach and, and what he's doing, you know. Sarah's got shit she's got to do. She said you didn't come home last night. That's what she said. I'm just telling you what she said. So I asked her to give you a ride. I said, if you don't give Zach a ride, he's not going to have a job, and you're not, and you're not going to get rent. So she said, she texted me back, said, Zach didn't come home last night. So that's why you didn't get a ride, but you wasn't there to get a ride. I mean, dude, you, I don't know why you're trying to lie to, lie to me, man. I'm not trying to lie, man. I was there, I was left, I came up here, I'm going back right now. I'm trying to figure uh, out. She doesn't know what I'm doing, man. She doesn't know where I'm at. I know she don't. She just knows you're not there. You know, just, just for her to give you a ride to work. I'm not right this second. I mean, I will be in like five minutes, so. All right, man. All right. Mm -mm -mm. We burning me up, boy. What's happened, and I don't care what Zach says, what's happened, and again, it ain't my business what you do in your off time, right? What, what's happened is Zach didn't wake up at home. That's why... Uh, he don't have. That's why he didn't have a ride, because he's off wherever he's at. But he, he he's saying he was there and he wasn't there. See, that doesn't make any sense. Because if you was there, and then you got well, where'd you go? You got a ride somewhere. Why didn't you get a ride to my house? See, work is not a priority to him. You know. I mean, you can't. And and, and that just tells you that. He, no, I know what happened. This is what happened. He didn't come in last night. You know, he woke up in destination unknown, and he didn't have a ride to work. That's what really happened. So that's why he couldn't get a ride because he wasn't at Sarah's. He's gonna. Ha he was gonna try to have somebody, the roommate or Sarah, come pick him up wherever the hell he's at, pick him up, and bring him all the way to my house. So he's making it very hard. For people to, to, to give him a ride that's the problem and and you know it's kitty shit so no matter what and, and that's what I keep trying to tell you guys about the guys that work for you see no matter what he wasn't gonna have a ride I couldn't have picked him up this morning see <laughs> think he's slick you know but it's just it ain't slick it's stupid is what it is it's just being stupid because you're gonna mess around and I'm gonna get tired of it. I'm already at my at my freaking wit's end. If we wasn't in the middle of the season, I would damn, I would already been done pulled the trigger and made a move on this. Uh, I'm gonna have to, dude. And I don't, and, and I'm trying everything I can not to have to do that. You know, he can't make it a week uh, uh, on time. You kidding me? He can't because he can't stay out the street. Just like Bo, he's just like Bo. At the end of the day. He's just like Bo. What's the di Tell me what the difference is in him and Bo. He's got a driver's license, Bo don't. But he, but that's the only difference. But I pay him a lot more than I paid Bo. You see? See, now I'm having to worry about a lot of stuff that I, sh I shouldn't have to worry about now because I got my truck there and I got all that equipment sitting on that truck right out there in my damn yard, man. I don't like that shit, dude. At all. You know. Because I let I left and uh, left him the key to the truck and everything. Somebody could just walk up and take that truck, mower everything. Because when I talked to him at 715, he was coming to work. But he couldn't find a ride. Because nobody wanted to get up and go all the way out to Peachtree City. 15 minutes out of their way and then bring him to work when he ain't and he probably ain't got much money either you see 
he's just stupid, man. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what else I can do, man. Rag him out on the video. That's all I can do. Fire him. I'm gonna have to get somebody else in place here. Uh, but see, Zach's doing just enough to string me along, and I'm gonna get sick of that shit because I'm not a string along kind of guy. You know, I'm not. So. And it's all because of his off the field shit. And ignorant. It's just dumb shit, dude. Kitty fucking 12 year old shit. The kind of things that Zach's doing, I was doing when I was 15 and 16 and 17. I wasn't 35 or 33 or whatever old he is. You see, I, 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 I got up so early and got the hell on. You see why? Thank God. Because uh, I can literally. I'm gold, really. I, I mean, I'm all right. It ain't ideal, but I can literally finish this whole route today. Everything. The only one that I won't be able to do is uh, uh, is the push mower one. Why? Because I don't have a push mower. That's why. I would do that. I would do that on my way in, but I don't have a mower. And the other one, uh, down on the other side of the neighborhood there, uh, it requires the skag mower. Zach's got the skag mower and the and the push mower. I can't do either one of them. All I got is a 60-inch for me. Well, man, you're dogging Zach out, man. Zach, blah, 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 blah. Ah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I'm gonna make mine either way. Ain't no employee gonna stop me. They gonna irritate the hell out of me till I don't wanna fuck with them no more. And when I when I get to that point, it's gonna be over. And when it's over, it's over. I'm not gonna buy, uh, somebody else is gonna be getting the, getting the benefit of working with me. Cause I know I treat the guys right. I know I pay good. And I'm gonna find somebody else. I got to, he's leaving me no choice. Not because of, of the money that he makes or don't make, not because of the hours that he works or don't work, but because he's he's so he's so in the street in the middle at, at nighttime that he that that and it's all dumb shit. Just like Bo, it's just like Bo. That's exactly what Bo would do. You know. Y'all getting started early like that, man. Man, it's so, it ain't even eleven o'clock yet, and I done done six and a lot of driving. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make good money today, man. If I get all this done today, I'll be a bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be able to do the one where I gotta uh, bag it. And that's gonna pay an extra $40, man. So that'll work too. I ain't heard from Zach no more, so he probably done accepted the fact that he ain't working today. So I need to get home and uh, ain't no words, man. I'll go down there and do that one too, man. I ain't, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna make as much money as I possibly can today. My problem, I'm not worried about today anymore because it's it's not even 11 o'clock and I'm more than halfway through the route and I'm already back by my house. So the thing now that I'm worried about is, okay, I'm not gonna be able to do the bushes this week down there, over there at the, at, the, at the big properties. So now all I'm trying to do is make it where Zach can't work the rest of the week. That's all I'm trying to do. Well, he can be broke, you know. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm really trying to do. Uh, I've accepted the fact that he's not coming in to work today. Uh, I've done, done, done two of the properties that were on his list. Plus I did the ones that are on my list too. Uh, I have to go back to one to bag, like I said. But at the end of the day, uh, I know that I'm not gonna be doing the bushes this week. So that frees up a whole day, which is all day on Thursday. So, <clears throat> so on Thursday, what I'll do, Tomorrow 
is I'll wrap up what I don't get done today, right? And then I'll go on down there to those to the million dollar street and I'll cut one of them or two of them by myself. And then come Friday, me and Anthony will come out there and we'll do the other two or three or whatever. And then the week will be a wrap. See what I'm saying? See how that works. And Zach won't be back out here till Monday. That's the goal. You know? Shoot, man, I like that getting out of that, that hour early start, man. I'd have been to Timbuktu and back. And look, y'all, I ain't falling out. I ain't, you know. <laughs> I'm the same asshole I was when I left the house this morning. If I could get Anthony to come out here tomorrow, that would be gold right there now. So, by Zach not coming in today, it's also going to knock Katie out of work, too. Because I just had to move the whole job off. And it's all because Zach didn't come to work. So, you know. I don't care. I got money in the bank. What these, what, what Zach don't understand, and anybody that's come out here don't understand, is that I'll sabotage everything just so they can't work. When they stand me up and they have a lot of games and they play a lot of games. See, Zach's playing a lot of games right now. You know, of course, to hear Zach say, I may understand how to ride to work, but it's a little bit deeper than that. So. Some people never learn. Man, this yard right here probably take me, it's 11, 14 right now. This yard probably take me, I'll be done, uh, shit, 35 minutes or so, something like that. I should be done around uh, 11, 45 or so. Cause I take the skag in the backyard. Gangster shit. Yeah. Nah. Okay, y'all. So I'm over here at this one. Uh, this is the 60. Uh, and But the owner came out and he asked me if I would cut the back piece back there uh, for $200. I'm going to show it to y'all. I'm going to do it now. It'll probably take me 10 or 15 minutes. Thanks, Mike. This will help with the this this will help with the bottom line today. <laughs> oh wow! I didn't realize you had those kind of tires on there. Yeah, those are tires. Are All right, Mike. Well, let's do. Let's get to get because I. Let's not. Let's let the summer get through. And you bank. If you bank your money, I'll bank my equipment, okay. and we'll and we'll 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 put it together. I got everything to do that, Mike. Okay, sounds good. So it's just about time, you know. I know it. Well, you know, you can't burn after the third. Right, and in the summertime, I don't have time to do nothing but chase but, these lawns. I know. You know? <laughs> especially all this rain. Yeah, especially now. So, all right, Mike, we'll see right, you, man. Thanks, yes, sir. Yeah, y'all. That's right. That's right, they already paid me. Sweet. That really just helps, man, on the bottom line uh, for everything. And it's worth it to me to spend an additional. Let's see how long it takes. So this is what he's talking about. There's a draw back here. It's like a, uh, well, it's a hardcore triangle. And it goes in like, like a triangle. And I've cut it before, but it's been uh, quite a few years ago. We're going to see what this guy can do. And it just goes back to that wood line back there. So, I'm going to try to find a place to set you guys up.
So y'all see fourteen minutes and some change to do this. What you call gambling on yourself and knowing what you're doing and knowing the limitations of your machine. This even though it looked really bad, this is not that hard on the mower. Uh not a lot of rocks. Uh now watch, I'm going to go cut the rest of this grass with it in the front lawn, and it'll, it'll strike just like it always has. Okay, so I'm just, I just pulled up over here, and this one is, uh, this is the one that I was talking about that's so tall that I had to go get the bagger. That, that one up there. And I don't even know if any of you guys have ever used or seen the accelerated bagger. It won't, they make them where they'll fit on any mower right this one is designed for the x mark and these things are extremely expensive this thing right here is about six hundred dollars y'all it won't fit on the skag but it will the x mark so i'm gonna pull the skag off and move it out of the way and then i'm gonna put the uh i'm gonna put the x mark on this so you see the way this thing works it hooks right on the mouth of the back of the of the deck okay see that hole right there on the deck so that pin fits right there and then it just hangs over there just like that and this thing opens up to, to dump the grass so yeah but y'all see that sign right there right that's important to people man this is the yard of the month in the whole neighborhood and there's about 350 houses in this neighborhood so That means a lot to your to your customer so y'all see it man that's the racer man that's the ray that's how we do it man That's what the X mark can do, y'all. I mean, that looks really nice. And this is the mower that I redid the deck on. So look, dude. Now, if we're gonna do every two weeks, I could probably cut it a little bit shorter, but I'm gonna talk to them about going to weekly for the next couple of weeks. Uh, but that's beautiful, man. That grass is just freaking awesome. Look at that, dude. 
that looks really good so now i'm gonna go to the back and cut the back i'm not gonna be able to take the camera to the back with me because uh well the battery's about to go dead in it and it's really hot the camera starts acting stupid and i don't want to lose this file so yeah y'all okay y'all i don't know how much good video i got today or how much decent content i got probably a lot of belly aching about zach uh but you know it is what it is man this is life i live so uh yeah uh, i got me a sammy from the uh sammy shop and it's 145 and i'm headed home i'm gonna sit down get out of this heat for a minute jump in the pool eat me some lunch and I might do some more today. I might wait till tomorrow. I don't know. Just according to how I'm feeling uh, in about an hour. Uh, but I've done eight. Let's see. Yeah, I've done eight of the 12 that were on the list today. Plus the additional $200 on that one. And the additional $40 on the one I bagged. So... I made an additional $240 uh, in the course of getting these jobs done today, too. So, there's four that I didn't do. Two of them are next door to each other in my neighborhood. And the other two I didn't do because I didn't have a push mower with me. I probably would have done them, but then I wouldn't have got the $200 extra. Dollars. So, it'll all work out because uh, I got to be going that way tomorrow anyway. So would really be good ideal is if i could just get the ones in my neighborhood done this afternoon that would be, put me like gold status you know uh, this will be one of the days that in recent memory of uh, me mowing lawns of uh, some of the, of the most money that i have made mowing lawns uh I don't know exactly what I made yet, but I will know. I'll put it in the, on the screen. Uh, but we know $240 brought off the rip. So the 40 for bagging the grass and the 200 for cutting that back 40. That back, no money else, a little. Pull up to the house, man. Y'all know what it is. It's Sammy Turn. Solo Wednesday. Peace out.